you had people out in the streets protesting lockdown. That was totally going to spread COVID and kill everyone. But if you were out there spitting on each other for George Floyd, COVID didn't care. It was the wokest virus in all of human history. That renormalization of American politics has had dramatic implications for all of our institutions, which have mirrored the same exact move over the course of time. Corporate America is now oriented against conservatives because woke people inside these corporations have taken over at least the levers of power inside a lot of these corporations. Not because they actually run the corporations, but because they know they can leverage the people at the heads of the corporations into doing what they want by heading on over to the New York Times and having the New York Times write a hit piece on the heads of the corporation. You see this in science, right? The scientific institutions, the place you thought was going to be untouchable. Right? I did. I thought scientific, science is a process, right? How do you screw with the process? Somehow they've managed to take scientific institutions and renormalize the institutions to the point where they are now repeating woke mantras as part of science. We saw this last year when you had people out in the streets protesting lockdown. That was totally going to spread COVID and kill everyone. But if you were out there spitting on each other for George Floyd, COVID didn't care. It was the wokest virus in all of human history. If you had the proper political principles, you were totally fine. And not only that, you were going to be told that racism was a public health problem akin to COVID, so it was totally fine for you to go out in the streets and do whatever you wanted to do. And you saw this again from the CDC in their original proposal for trotting out vaccines, which was not on the basis of age, which was clearly, clearly the scientific way to trot out vaccines. Instead, they, trans they said we should tranche out vaccines on the basis of racial equity, which is madness. I mean, utter craziness, which statistically, by the way, would have ended with more dead black people than if they trenched it out on the basis of age. Because if you immunize a bunch of 20-year-old black people and you skip a bunch of 65-year-old black people, even if proportionally speaking, the 65-year-old black people are less of a percentage of the total population than 20-year-old black people are, this would have ended with more dead elderly black people, right? This is clear as day in the science. Didn't matter. The CDC was promoting it anyway. You've seen scientific institutions renormalized. You've seen the media obviously renormalized. The media is just a weapon of the Democratic Party at this point. There is no question about this. The Democratic, I mean, the, the propaganda that they have subjected the American people to, particularly since 2016, is absolutely astounding. And then finally, the social media companies have basically fallen prey to all of this as well. Not only are they headed by people who are sort of congenitally liberal, as Zuckerberg has admitted, right, Silicon Valley is a left-wing place. Not only that, they've now been leveraged by the media and by the Democratic Party into basically suppressing freedom of speech and First Amendment freedoms on behalf of the government. They're private companies, but once they become government agents, they cease to be in the private sphere only. Okay, so what does this mean for you guys? What it means is we need to take some lessons from the left. Okay, what that means is we should not be quite as cordial as the left would wish us to be because they are not telling you the truth when they say they want you to be cordial. This doesn't mean be rude. It doesn't mean get up in people's faces, Maxine Waters style. It doesn't mean be a jerk. It does mean that if you are saying something true, you should not be so worried about who it offends. If you're saying a true thing that is backed by data and somebody gets offended, that would be a them problem. And you should, it is not incumbent on you to treat a fact as a, as a matter of unniceness, as a matter of meanness.